and we are live welcome back concrete contractors welcome back to your concrete success podcast for another episode in sharing success ideas success strategies success for your concrete business so if you're watching this live right here on youtube welcome aboard make sure that you hit that subscribe button it would help the algorithm it would help to let you know when the next piece of content is live from concrete marketing crew and look here's the bottom line all the content that we share with you guys is stuff that actually works is stuff that we implement for our clients it's the success strategies that you can go ahead and implement yourself or you can have your team implemented or you can hire us at concretemarketingcrew.com to do it for you uh, but if you're tuning in via itunes via via stitcher via spotify welcome board make sure that you hit that subscribe button it would mean the world if you could also leave us a review in those platforms it would help the algorithm know hey look find more people just like this that are concrete contractors and share the content with them so uh anyways uh, in today's episode i want to talk about uh, concrete marketing ideas uh to help you uh, market your concrete company online the right way and effectively without wasting a lot of time or effort and when I think about content marketing, I mean, let's define content marketing for for a minute. There are many ways that content is being consumed online every day, all right? It used to be that content would be consumed via a blog or, or a piece of content online on, on either a website or, or news form. But nowadays, that has shifted over where we've seen the, the, the transition of consumers consuming content in multitude of ways from video content, from podcasts, just like what, what I'm doing right now. I'm shooting a, a piece of content via video, and this video turns into a podcast, and also it gets transcribed into a written format. So you see content gets consumed in multiple ways, and uh, what I want to do is for concrete contractors and decorative concrete contractors, I, I want to, to put it together to a format that would work whether you know you're just getting started in creating content or you know you just want to know what to do and want to get some real ideas into what will help your business move the needle forward and get more leads and gain more projects off of that so um let me go ahead and, and just uh, share it with you. So a couple of things I want to I want to do on this uh, on this spe special episode is share my screen so that you can actually see some of these ideas in action. Uh, so if you're listening to this uh, via iTunes, make sure that you go to Concrete uh, Marketing Crew YouTube's channel and hit the subscribe button and go ahead and find the video entitled "Concrete Marketing Ideas for Concrete Contractors." That is where you're going to find the walkthrough. So uh, that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I want to share with you is create a blog on your website create a blog on your website and why should you create a blog and like what you know what type of content can you create on a blog for concrete right concrete sounds like a boring topic if you will but uh, it absolutely is not you know consumers are going online every single day to research information about what they will be investing in and i can tell you one thing that the the best uh the best piece of of content that we create for our clients a lot of times the best content that converts is not necessarily the service pages but it's the content that supports the services so that it it really educates the consumer in knowing uh how the process of installing a concrete patio or stamp concrete is, what the maintenance tips are, right? Got all those tips that help for retention as well as attracting the right type of of client for for your concrete business. So uh, let me go ahead and share my screen right now and um, give me a second. Let me go to google.com. So you should be able to see my screen right now. And uh, one of the things that I like to talk about is, is okay, so you're going to create a blog. So what are you going to be writing about on that blog? So if I put in stamp concrete right here, stamp concrete driveway, Google automatically suggests a couple of things. But I want to show you people also ask right here. There's a section that says people also ask. Uh, 
And what this section is, it, it tends to be a combination of what may be on a website that's a high high authority website and some of the questions that are, are getting asked on that website might be pulled from that data as well as what people are searching for pertaining to the search term. So if someone's looking for stamp concrete driveway, for example, uh, some of the questions that come up is how much is a stamp concrete driveway? So how about this? How about how much does a stamp concrete driveway cost in and then you specify your service area. So if you are in Broward County, that means uh, how much is a stamp concrete pad, uh, driveway in, in, in Broward County? Or if you're in Miami, in Miami-Dade. If you're in San Diego, in the greater San Diego area. And you can break down ranges. You don't need to give the specific dollar amount. You can give estimate and ranges. And as you can see here, uh, the cost of stamp concrete can vary based on a number of factors. Basic stamp concrete can cost between 8 to $12 per square foot, right? So as you can see there, you don't need to give the specific, but you do need to be detailed in the delivery of that specific blog post. So again, one way to get content ideas is to go to Google and type your services right on search and look at the questions that are getting asked. You grab all those questions and you can write one piece of con one piece of blog post per each one of those. And if you go there, you're going to see that um, you're going to get a lot of ideas and then you scroll all the way down to the bottom and you can see at the bottom there are related searches. So another related search to Stamp Concrete Driveway, as we're seeing it here, it says Stamp Concrete Driveway pros and cons. Oh my gosh, like wouldn't that be a great blog post to have uh, on your site? And there are always pros and cons. And so, some contractors would say, well, I don't want to write the cons. Like why should I write something negative about it? Well, you know, I, I actually create content for you guys. Uh, and, and what my team tells me is like, hey, Danny, just tell them exactly what they should expect from SEO. It takes time, right? I, I tell you the pros and the cons. I share with you guys the good and the bad because you should know what you're getting yourself into. Now, I can tell you someone that wants stamp concrete will get stamp concrete. Someone that needs to be convinced about stamp concrete would probably will not invest the twelve, thirteen, twenty-five thousand dollars for the patio they want, right? So uh, it's all about educating the consumer and meeting them where they're at. So make sure that you are delivering. So again, at the bottom of um, of the search uh, of a service, you can go ahead and do that. You you do this for every service that you offer and every service variation. So stamp concrete is one. A search term, you do that for stamp concrete, you go ahead and look at the related searches as well as compile a list of all the people also ask. Do that for stamp concrete driveway, stamp concrete patios, stamp concrete pool decks, and you get the point. By the time that you finish the list, you will end up with a whole bunch of, of different blog topic ideas. And uh, what I want you to look at is um, everything about concrete there is a website by mike day that's everything dash about dash concrete.com and you can see mike has done a tremendous job at compiling all of these different types of topics and mike does a very thorough job but i can tell you most concrete contractors do not have the time to take the pictures and to do all of that work uh, and if you do have the time, um, I can tell you it's very well worth it. Otherwise, hire someone like us, Concrete Marketing Crew, to help you put together the content. All you have to do is tell us your, uh, what your services are, your service area. If you have a special process that you use, you let us know in that process and we go ahead and create the pieces of content and then uh, get that written out and optimized and ranked on Google search. And I can tell you content works, guys. Content absolutely works. You can see here a website that was barely getting any type of traffic over time, uh, you know, over uh, probably about two months, we've gone from like two clicks a month to over 75, over 80, probably by the end of the month, uh, it will calculate this, maybe it will be close to 100 clicks from organic search. So as you can see there, this does not have to take forever, but content is, is it's really a numbers game. So again, one of the ideas is go to Google and uh, just find out. So you will find out what people are looking for. Uh, let me go ahead and minimize my screen right now. And uh, 
next thing is if you need help compiling all these keywords and want to find out how to market your concrete company the right way, we are offering a complimentary concrete marketing strategy call, which uh, all you have to do is go to Concrete Marketing Crew and look for book a demo. Uh, and when you book a demo, it's basically what it is, is we're gonna compile all the research in your service area and let you know uh, what's trending. So that's one way you can market your business via content. The second way is uh, write about uh, concrete contracting best practices and share tips. So some of the tips that I like to, to um, talk about is the 10 most frequently asked questions Okay, uh, another sort of, of, that's more of like answering questions, but the tips are maintenance tips. Those are big, so it, it, it again comes back to your services. And if you look at the services, like taking stamp concrete, for example, uh, you know, you have driveways, you have patios, you have pool decks, you have indoors, you have uh, uh, wood uh, type of stamping, right? So, so all those type of, applications and deliveries you can write a blog post for each one of those and how to maintain your your stamp concrete patio for example right right uh three ways to to um increase the lifetime of your stamp concrete driveway right so that would be another piece of content and he talks about the same process and again you would create a unique uh spin to how you would maintain it even in although it might be the same way you do it for a patio and a driveway right so again uh you know all those things now how about concrete coatings uh, if you do garage floor coatings right so you think about garage floor coatings, uh, you look at the maintenance is, is one of them. Uh, process application is another one. That's another tip. Uh, best practices is the actual process of the application. You know, you need a grinder, right? You, you need the specific type of applications. Uh, if you use polyaspartic versus epoxy, like the different type of applications, the pros and the cons. So share all those tips uh, as well as the expectations. Like, you know, when is the best time to get your floor installed? Does it matter if the weather, you know, uh, changes or, you know, winter versus summer? Uh, humidity, does that become a factor, right? So all those things play a big role as far as how you deliver content in a written format as well as a video. So uh, this is about content marketing. What you want to do is educate your prospect in the whole process. So uh, this can be in written format in a blog post format, just like I've shown you before, um, or it can be via video in YouTube. And uh, what you do is you grab the video and the title of the video has to have the keyword of what you're uh, you're educating the prospect about, as as be, as as well as your service area. So, um, for example, you do concrete coatings. When is the best time to install your concrete coatings, uh, your garage concrete coatings, uh, in mini in in Miami? Best time to install uh, to to resurface your your concrete driveway in Miami, right? So you just add that geo modifier. Uh, over time, that will help out in the algorithm as far as local and uh, make sure that you link it out to your website um, and your Google My Business. All right, so uh, number three, tip number three about content marketing ideas is uh, share your pictures, pictures of the past work that you've done. And if you are a decorative concrete contractor, you're going to have a ton of this. And I can tell you, you know, go back. Go back to your library and start resharing some of that work. Uh, I can tell you is when you share something on online, say you have a thousand connections, only up to 7% of your connections will ever see that specific post. Up to, right? Usually, I mean, with all the changes on Instagram, for example, and Facebook, they want you to pay for more impressions. So what that means is go ahead and just continue to post work that you probably have done two, three, four years behind. Uh, and you will still get, I mean, even a year behind, you can reshare the same thing. I see concrete contractors resharing the same work every month. And they still get likes and they still get engagement and they still get all of that. So the goal is, is just to keep the feed fresh. Uh, so this is uh, social media content is a type of content. So uh, sharing pictures is very important. And also when you are looking at the pictures, you can actually talk about that project too. Like uh, create a story behind that project and have uh, uh, some location uh, references 
that will help out as far as uh, the SEO goes. You know, every time you mention a location, especially if it's in your service area, it will help the algorithm know that you service a specific service area. So, uh, so again, sharing a picture, just looking at the picture, it's not just going on social media, but you can write a story behind it. So uh, what concrete contractors do is they send us a bunch of pictures. Uh, they put it into a Dropbox and they give us a folder. Uh, for the pictures and for some projects that they want to highlight they just give us some references like i'm explaining to you one of them is the location another one is the square footage another one is the application that they that they had in the process uh in just in brief paragraph uh type of 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 description and then w when we get those details we make sense of all the information and we write a blog post in which case we turn that into into a blog post that ranks on google search and that is another piece of content uh, another thing is when you share pictures it also gives prospective clients ideas into how they can also get the same type of project done uh number four Tip number four for content marketing ideas for concrete contractors is post videos of your work as well as project updates. Post videos of your work and project updates. I'm going to share with you is uh, Fuscaro Concrete does a, a great job at, at this. Uh, Fuscaro Concrete. And let me go ahead and just uh, Google it. And they do a great job on their social media. Excuse me. Sorry about that cancel uh, sorry about that Fuscardo. let me just go to the website real quick all right so you're seeing uh, that the music pops up so this is a type of video as you can see there that's a drone type of video uh, and if you don't have a drone um, get someone to record the content for you that has a drone very well worth the investment here especially if you're trying to get larger type of projects projects and you can see there this is kind of like the project update like you know they're sharing what's happening throughout the project finished product i mean by the time that you know someone speaks to uh fuscardo gaetano or or uh or his partner uh, you know it, it's basically you know a, a done deal they know that they can go ahead and get the work done because you've seen it, you've seen it via video, and that's for decorative concrete. Let's go ahead and see another one. This is for uh, you know concrete pouring, and um, yeah, this is probably for walkway, driveway extension. I mean, beautiful work. The entire process. You can see that they also do concrete countertops, and they share all of the top of work, like 2021 concrete preview. They're sharing. Uh, all the type of work that they do, and this this is probably one of the best selling tools in 2021, is just sharing this type of three minute videos where you know you walk someone through the entire process. You can be uh, it, it can be done voiceover or it could just be v with a music background and then speed up some of the the, the sections of the videos. Uh, that's another great work. Another one is to go live. Another way is to go live. And when you go live, my friends, I mean, you're going live. You're basically going live like I'm going live right now. I'm live on YouTube. Uh, and the fact is that this is a setup, right? I've got my lights. I got my microphone. I got my camera. Uh, but you don't need to do it. You go live with this device right here on the project and just share what is going on. You can go live on YouTube. All right. That's very powerful. And when you go live, give a description of your project new concrete pour in or new concrete uh new concrete patio or new concrete driveway new concrete floors getting new concrete for floors done in miami in orlando in uh, new york in long island in brentwood in san diego in san francisco i mean you put your city name in there in dallas right and and then what you do is you write a little description about that project as you're going live and you go live for three to five minutes when you go live for three to five minutes you gauge whether someone's going to it's going to be live there and you can actually make that an interactive process and a walkthrough and an update type of process. Uh, you don't need to go any more than, than five minutes. In my personal opinion, I think three or five minutes will give uh, YouTube a good good sense of the type of content that you're getting. And you can talk uh, over that specific walkthrough. And that would be the time when you can actually do like a voiceover and just 
walk through and say, hey guys, uh, I am here at this specific facility and this is located in so and so and what we're getting done is this, this, this and that. And what you do is you just go live and then you're going to have some people support you live on the spot. And if you need help with any of these things and ideations and what you need to do, you know what to do is go to concretemarketingcrew.com and um, schedule a complimentary concrete marketing strategy call. Now, if you don't want to call us, you don't want to talk to us, that's fine. That's cool. I got something free uh, for you to download and that is go to concretemarketingcrew.com and check out the ultimate internet marketing checklist for decorative concrete contractors. This checklist right here has a whole bunch of ideas on how you can improve your online marketing strategy, how you can improve marketing your concrete company online from your website to your Google search rankings, to your content marketing, to your pay-per-click, to your lead generation activities. And it will give you a solid overview as to what you need to be focusing on to generate more projects for your concrete business. So thank you so much for tuning in. Give us a like, give us a share. Appreciate so much for watching this video. Until the next one, Danny Barrera, Concrete Marketing Crew, over and out. Take care.